combustion? Renewable energy challenges really is a, a class designed to um, teach us about the technologies that are already out there as far as uh, promoting renewable energy and as well as uh, make us aware of the problems so that you know we are the future generation we are the ones that are probably going to have to figure out how how these how to make these things work efficiently we decided that you know after seeing the amount of water that builds up around here like the flood you know that's that's a lot of water potential for uh, energy so we decided that if we could find a way to harness that and uh, maybe use it for lighting the sewers you know the sewers don't have to be lit all the time only when they need construction workers so we decided that uh, if we could go to a battery, which is this part right here, uh, one of our technologies was uh, figuring out how to store energy. The potential energy uh, created by the height of the machine will actually uh, make the water fall by gravity, and it'll it'll turn our generator there. You know, the turbine will turn, uh, spinning magnets, which will uh, force current through the wires, which will eventually run recharge the battery, and the excess voltage will actually go through and light the LEDs. The course mainly uh, we are talking about several energy themes, for example, solar cells, fuel cells, uh, and also other uh, electrochemical energy storage like lithium ion batteries. Our project is a uh, scale model of a facility they're discussing about building on UofL's campus. It's a, uh, about five to ten parking spaces for a uh, plug-in hybrid vehicles that'll use a, uh, solar panels to both protect the cars from the weather and provide shade as well as charge the battery. Uh, the system will also, as kind of shown in the model, have a uh, backup battery for like, it'll charge during the day when cars aren't charging, so that way they'll be able to charge at night, they'll be able to pull off a battery. And then any additional power can be sent to like a nearby building, like say the SAC, if we put it on the parking garage, or this building if we put it out behind the speed lot. We are really proud, so, what, uh, so, so I already got to talk to students and see the projects, so this is exactly what we were <laughs> expecting from the course.